Yeah, but now we have to put more weight into it. What have we put now? How much weight have we put into it now? <laughs> the meter. Yeah. This is the one everyone's been waiting for. No one cared about the car. What's up, guys, and welcome to another episode of Games Changers. Pretty simple but interesting one today. Because today... This is almost the last episode. Of this Games is almost Changers. the last episode of Games Changers Season 1. Almost, because we still have a, <coughs> a car that doesn't run. <laughs> Josh. <coughs> SR. But we are going to do something that everyone's been asking us about. When we went over to the British Drift Championship, everybody was asking us the one question. What did the cars weigh in the end? Well, now we have, thanks to our friends at Murray Motorsport, the technology to weigh the cars. But before we weigh the cars, we're going to weigh the Corvette first. We're going to give you guys time to guess. We're going to guess. We're also say we've got a bit of an audience here, so <laughs> we have a few oh, guesses hey. here. We've got Blaine over here doing some calculations. So what we're going to do is try and talk through where we save the weight and where we put on the weight on each car. So first of all, we need the weight. Yeah, well first of all, we're going to start with the weight that we had. So without me in this car, it was 1450 kilograms, all right, Blaine? He got me in the top. He was doing calculations for 20 minutes there and he still has... Go, go ahead, go again, what was it? Without me in it, how much did it weigh at the start? Uh, 14.50. 14.50. That's quite heavy. So a good, what James Dean's car was what, 12? 12.10? So that's a roundabout good power to weight ratio. He's a bit more power than me or whatever, but that's kind of like a drift car would be around about 1,200. I'm just going to completely estimate it like we did the whole project. Um, <laughs> how, how did that go? Went brilliantly. <laughs> how did yours go? <laughs> well, it, it hasn't moved. So what we've done and what we've changed. So first of all, everyone's going to say, all the carbon fiber panels are going to save a lot of weight. I don't think they're going to save as much as people think. The boot lid massively that Matty did in carbon, that's definitely... But well, your panels were already fiberglass. Yeah, that's definitely 20 kilos. It's definitely 20 kilos gone out of the back, right? But the bumper was plastic, this was plastic, the doors were kind of aluminium-y But the doors also had a lot of stuff on the inside. Now, one place we are going to lose a lot of weight is glass. No glass on the sides and no glass on the back. That was heavy, glass was heavy. We lost all, I think the interior on this car is actually where we lost the most amount of weight. So very light seat. Yeah, nothing behind the dash and no. behind the dash was- No air conditioning, stuff. we don't have carpets, we don't have speakers, we don't have airbags, we don't have electric windows. The original seats had airbags in them and they were leather electric ones. So they're definitely gonna be, these are way lighter than that. Um, the roof is the same weight, but then I have to look at it the other way. Technically added a little bit onto the roof. A little bit on, but- Maybe about not, 20 grams? About 20 grams, yeah. The cage has a lot of weight in. So and, and we also put a very fancy cage in this. So this is a cage that had more bars than say, Matt Fields. Should we estimate car. it at, I mean, it could be more, if you think of it, 100 kilos, that's a person. So I would say it could be more than 100 kilos. Imagine yeah. trying to lift that. Yeah, it could be 100, I don't know. Let's say 125 kilos, let's estimate We it. added, under the bonnet, we added, Big intake, so that would have been more weight, but we took off an intake. Took off a plastic that intake. That was plastic, but that's not plastic. Then did you take air conditioning over there, that? We did take air conditioning. We shut down the we, engine quite a bit. We left the standard battery in it, we didn't go lighter there. We still have a rad. We have more fans, I'd say, now than we had before, do we? We have more coolers. This isn't a good one. No. No, I say. This car could be heavier than we just could be, It could be like 13, 14 kilos, and it's still. But it's just the weight has been moved around. And then the, I would say I the drivetrain. I'd say the drivetrain. Definitely the Samsonas and the Winters are way lighter than the ones that came out. I would say they're much bigger. The ones that came out were huge. Like. Yeah. The gear, the automatic gearbox weighs a load. Like automatic gearboxes always weigh a lot, and the diff was huge. So, but then everything else is kind of the same at the back. Dude, I'm not too sure because at the back. Like technically, I can put weight in. Think but, about it. but at the back, you completely cut out the back. But that was only fiberglass. That was only fiberglass. I think about it, the two standard fuel tanks were plastic and we replaced it with a steel one or an aluminium one. So that would be heavier. In your head. This ain't it's looking too heavier, good. Man. I'm intrigued. What do you think, Wayne? Yeah, it's full of fuel there now. Yeah. So it's full of fuel, it's got the tires on it, everything's that way. It is, it is not, it's literally as it was. Um, that could be another 20, 30 kilos. But what do, you, what do you think? There's more fuel than now nearly than it had when we weighed it the first time. I think it nearly had. You're talking kilos here yeah. now. Yeah, but this is where I find the weight we're going out on track. Yeah, this is where we'll be going out on track. This is like race ready. What, what do you think? I'm thinking, I'm thinking 1,250. I'll say uh, 11. 12, I'll go 1,200. 1,200. 1,200? Yeah, I think 1,200. I had 1,180 in mine. 1,180, is that what you think, Simon? 11. 
11. 11. I'm going to go gold and go, you have shaved 200 off, so 12.50. 12.50? Yeah. What do you think, Josh? 1,300. 1,300. Well, the moment of truth is here. Wayne, you can't fake it. I get, I get to see. Please, please be lighter than 1,450. Is it in kilos now? No, I, I want to reveal it. I want to reveal it. Right, let's see. It's going to be revealed should, with your face. I should put it at zero. Yeah. Okay, we're good. One of us is right. Of how much weighs. Alright guys, we're interrupting this video to thank one of our partners here at Drift Games, Strom Wheels. We run the DS25s on all of our drift cars and they are amazing. We even had a big wheel on wheel hit at the first round of the British Drift Championship and because these wheels have a very, very strong outer lip, the other wheel was broken but the Strom was ready for another tyre to go back on it again. Didn't even lose any air pressure. These are amazing wheels, they look great, they've got concave and they come in two colours, the hyper black and the bronze. So get some for your drift car now. They're well priced and they're really strong. What more do you want? Check it out on stromwheels.com. It weighs 1,258 kilos. So it's still quite heavy. That's 192 kilos. 192 kilos, still so quite a lot. 192 kilos? Well, it's actually full of fuel there now. Like so it's full of fuel. I don't think it's full of fuel when we weighed last time, but no. I'd say it'd be probably around about 200 kilos we took out of the car. Yeah, so that's 1,200 and, but then, more importantly than weight is power to weight. So we had 420 horsepower at 1450, with, and now we have 610 at 1250. Oh, no, that's, that's, that's a lot of mass now. We're going to stop there. That's our weight ratio. Yeah, but now we have to put more weight in there. What have we put now? How much weight have we put in there now? Is <laughs> <laughs> the meter. Yeah. This is the one everyone's been waiting for. No one cared about the car. How did the gym go? <laughs> <laughs> I did go once, to be fair. You alright, Dave? We shouldn't have done this. We shouldn't have done this project at all. Do you think I've lost two stone in that one session I went to the gym and then didn't go for the next? You're standing in the, the door bar there. I'm just standing in the door bar because I honestly can't be arsed in. <laughs> what? Okay, do the math here. <laughs> oh my god. No. Dave, you did weigh before 108 kilos. You now weigh 106 kilos. <laughs> <laughs> yes! I didn't have his wallet in his pocket. I've got my phone. I've got all my money, and obviously, as you know, I'm very rich, so all my money weighs about 20 kilos. <laughs> so that's two, two kilos. <laughs> so, in one way, bad that the car was heavier, but in one way, good. <laughs> Look how happy you are. I, you were okay. dreading that. Yeah. Yeah. Let's wait, let, let's wait now you're under pressure. You need to lose a little bit now as well. I'm yeah. after losing two kilos <laughs> out of pure stress for the last two months. So, we learned, we learned that. We lost 200 kilos, but we put more fabrication in. So we probably realistically, if you took the cage out of the car, lost probably 300 kilos out of the car. But then we put 100 kilos back in. And then if you think about it, the safety stuff, like plumbed in fire extinguishers and all that stuff, that all weighs something, extinguishers, everything is in the car. So it is 12, we call it 1258. Um, good thing it has a very light driver now. That's the only thing, you know what I mean? Those two kilos. Those two kilos have <laughs> changed the game. That's why it was so competitive, obviously, compared to last year. Uh, <laughs> still two kilos. Yeah, so, I don't know. I'm now starting to feel like your car is going to be a similar story. Well, I'm not too sure, because my car was very light to begin with, whereas your car was heavier to begin yeah, with. Yeah, I think, I think, to be honest, 610 horsepower at 12.58 kilos is pretty competitive. It's not the end of the world. We can't, I don't think we can make it any lighter. Like, the only thing we could do is, Blank the headlights. We could probably go to a Perspex front screen. That's what Matt Field has. He has no glass in the front no, of the car. No. You could go fiberglass roof, but I think it's really light as it is. Like you lift it up with one hand, so I don't think that's going to make much difference. Plus, you weren't running with that on half the time. No, actually, I had the roof off most of the time. So I'm pretty happy. I mean, it doesn't matter really because the car goes really good. But at the same time, I think people would have thought this would be a lot lighter than it is because of all the carbon. But people are guessing at BDC a thousand. They all said a thousand, so it's a lot more than a thousand. So it goes to show it's not as mental in terms of light as it is. But anyway, enough about the Corvette. Let's get on to the MX-5, because this is a, let's hope you've put on two kilos now, Josh. That'd be pretty interesting. <laughs> this has changed the game. 
I went to the gym once. I lost two kilos and said, that's enough for me. <laughs> that's all I was <laughs> aiming for. Do you know what? Actually, if anyone's at home and they're thinking, you know, I want to lose a bit of weight because I, I obviously lost you know, quite a bit, have you seen? Um, one of the things I've done is uh, stay in the shed really late. Uh, don't eat regularly. I've been on this thing called the petrol station diet. It's new. Everyone's on it. Uh, you just get whatever's left in the petrol station at 11 o'clock at night. Uh, not a lot of sleep. That's a good one. I think a lot of fitness people will say get a lot of sleep, but what I've found on my weight loss journey is no sleep. Stress is a good one. If you can stress yourself out as much as possible, especially financially. And the more financially you can be stressed. I know stress of like, you know, you can be stressed of time and everything, but I find financial stress is a really good way of losing weight. Um, so those, you know, you can take those advice. I mean, giving that for free. I'm not even looking for a plan. The drift stress diet. I'm not sure a lot of people buy into that. 60, 40, front and back. 60-40? So the actual facts are. <laughs> I was going to say, shut up now. So 60-40? That's Roughly a lot. About that. Yeah, it's actually... I thought it would be a bit heavier to the back, but it's not. No, no. Is it almost 50-50? No, no. It's about 60-40. I wouldn't say it's as far as 60-40. No. You only completely I'd say it's 55-45 is what I would say. Like, it's a bit heavier. Have you got a mathematician? No, we definitely don't Blaine. have one of those. Blaine, get the app Oh, he's got a new pen. He's got a new pen. Power to weight ratios. Oh wow. All right, we get, we, we, we get back to you at the end then. Now it's time to lift it up, Wade, and uh, this this car. I, I don't know, I think it's gained weight. That's the problem. Right? You think it's gained weight? Yeah. yeah. I think it's gained weight. But look at all the cage in there that wasn't in there before. I don't know. Turbo wasn't there before. Intercooler wasn't there before. Just saying. Just saying, Joshy. I would be depressed if we did all this 18 work. 18-inch wheels over 16-inch wheels. I'd be very depressed if this has gained weight overall. But then again, I was- Got a spoiler now? I was thinking the other day. So the diffuser or the plates, the bodywork, the spoiler, the splitter, everything like that. All addition. That is like the bumper went up kilos just through the splitters, like. Lane's, Lane's having a conniption over here. What's happened? Uh, oh, have we gone back to something? Oh, we're back on the cardboard. I've calculated. So power to weight ratio beforehand of Corvette was 290 per ton. Okay. It's now 485 per ton. That's a big difference now. That's what you want. That's, that's made me feel better now. And the losing weight, but other than that. <laughs> what's my power to weight ratio now? Fat. <laughs> so 485 per ton is what your car would have to beat now, which I think it will, it, but I just don't know. Cause well, what's not this? right now. No, but what's this car going Hey. <laughs> Hang on a second, Blaine, can I set you on one thing? Can you work out a similar supercar of what that's to? Well, the Veyron is 500. 500 the, origi the, the original Veyron is 500 per tonne. So you're 15 horsepower off a of Veyron. You know what, we settled with that. Yeah. It's like a Veyron. I built a Veyron. Josh, what do you think? Oh, <laughs> no, we do some guesses first. Hold on, before we go down. What was it? What was it? Blame you have these figures to hand. Look, uh, figures to 1085 hand. without Josh. 1085 without Josh. I think it's gone up in weight. You think it's gone up? Yeah. I... Well, let's talk through it. You've got more bodywork. So you've got this is metal. You've got a metal spoiler. You've got bigger wheels. You've got a turbo, an intercooler, and all the turbo and intercooler need more fittings, more coolers, more everything that wasn't in the standard car. And you have bumper bars, which weren't on the car originally, and you have a massive cage. I think it's gone up in weight. Okay, so my prediction would be, yes, it's had a lot of stuff in, but the interior has been stripped completely back, and the seats were the same as yours. They were heated seats, so they were very heavy. The front has been cut off dramatically, so there's nothing at the front, so I'd say that's taken a little bit of weight off. The doors on yours were pretty heavy. The doors, I'd say, were 30 kilos, and now they're six kilos. The rear's been completely cut out. You added a roof. I took off a, this fiberglass roof, though, and I took off a soft top. I'm only, I'm only going by what this has shown us, is that you do lose loads of weight, but you put it back in with the fabrication, so I'm just thinking it'll be similar. I would like to say it's just creeping into 900. That was my target at the start. I said I wanted to, to get say, into 900. I'm saying 1100. 1100? Yeah. What do you think, Wayne? 1150. He's going up 1150? higher. 1150? What do you think, Wayne? Oh, I don't know. I don't know what the phone's telling them. I'm just going to say uh, like the thousands. Thousand. Around thousands. Thousand of 50. Oh, right in the middle. Play the safe. <laughs> Drop her down, Wayne. Oh. And she's down. 
what will his face say? Oh no, he's, he's smirking, now he's gone up in weight. He's got, no. I, it has gone down in weight. Oh no, it's gonna be a little bit. Is it, is it more weight than you took off? It is now weighing 1,074 kilos. You've lost seven kilos. Nearly as much as I lost in the gym. <laughs> <laughs> seven kilos lighter. Yeah, but you're doing your maths wrong there, Dave. It's 11. Huh? 11. Way more than I lost in the gym. 11 kilos. You let all that for 11 kilos. 11 kilos. But you put a lot in, like, that's it's the thing. Completely different engine, gearbox, everything. I reckon you took the spoiler, the rear diffuser, and all those bits off it, you'd probably bet a thousand. What way is it front and back, man? This one is very, very even on the front. It's about the same as that. About the same as yours. What was the. Was it a 1.8 or a 2 liter? It was a two liter, so it would have had 170 horsepower. Okay, so this is going to be a dramatic change. This is going to be dramatic. Because <laughs> it went from 170 to 520 horsepower. So your power to weight is going to go... 22. <laughs> it's going to be very high. It'll be very high, I'd say. That is exactly the same weight, strangely, as what the 180 that it came out of was. What? Yeah, same weight. It was just over 1,000, nearly 1,100. Really? The 180 with the SR on it, yeah. So in nine months, we took the engine out of a car, <laughs> built that to be pretty much the same car. Pretty much. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> now, you, now, now you have to get on now and see how much weight you've lost. I've got a look. In fact, technically the stuff in the car was supposed to be on the car. That's what we just said. <laughs> Hang on a second. All my engine parts are in there. Yeah, but they should be in the engine. So. Yeah, you know what? Fair, fair there, enough. There's your sump, right? So you need that. There's your steering wheel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. There's no way around it. Oh, oh <laughs> Right, have you got Josh's weight with the, on the car from the first one? Uh, okay, so MX-5 with, sorry, with Josh was 11.75. 11.75. Which makes you 90 kilos. It's now 11. 11.65. He was 90. He was 90. He's now 91. He's put on a kilo. <laughs> you lost two kilos. I lost two kilos and you put on a kilo. That's the shocker here. Nobody cares about the cars at all because they both are heavier than they should be. But the fact that I lost weight. I mean, I'd like to thank my trainer that one day I went. I'd like to thank bur mostly burgers. Um, burgers and stress. Are you really doing a celebratory speech? Yeah. I, I lost weight. You gained a kilo. So technically, I should be driving your car to get the lightest car on the grid. <laughs> no. Even though I weigh much more than you. I think the big got power to weight. You've got power, oh, to, power to weight. Show. I think this is going to be. Is this? We already end the episode after this. Oh, this is going to be fifty cups after this. I'll tell you what. I'll take this. You take this. I don't know why I'm still holding this. Thank you to Murray Motorsport for letting us borrow their electronic uh, scales. Murray Motorsport do corner weighting, all that good stuff for race cars in-house at Murray Motorsport in Dublin, and they are the best in the business. Obviously, we know nothing about what we're talking about here. We barely could turn them on 20 minutes ago, so go to those guys if you want to get set up properly. Don't come near us, because we have them still. Unless you want to lose physical weight, then come, come my way. And when I bulk up, obviously come to me. Yeah, put on a kilo. <laughs> 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 nothing says bulk up like Josh Holdsworth. <laughs> See, <laughs> muscle weighs more than fat. Yeah, but you're nice. Dizzy, you must have put on a very little amount of muscle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, power to weight. Right. This, this, is, this is the end of the episode. It's like, it's like, uh, what is what it? Are we, what are we achieving over this? Like, uh, Which car is better? Oh, this is per ton, so this per is the obvious figure. You're obviously going to win this, so I don't even know why I'm building myself I? up. Yeah. I'm not sure I am. So, Dave's was 485 brake horsepower per ton. Per ton. 4, 8, 7 per ton. Oh, so I... That's why I need the I put on the extra kilo if I can take it. Yeah, but it's gonna slow you down that, that two brake horsepower now because you've got the extra weight on. So So mine So they're both the same, pretty much. Like uh, they're the same. What was it? Two There's two horsepower per ton in the difference. That's the same. No, it's not the same. I mean it's pretty much the same. I mean, out of two hundred and I mean out of two. I mean I've got two more. Yeah. Like, you were celebrating that. But you know two I kilos think, less. But Josh, I can just drop that weight again and another two kilos. I would just like to add, I weigh still a lot less than Dave. No, really? <laughs> the camera, there's the ca if the camera adds 10 pounds, I look like uh, 
very slim person right it now. doesn't help as well that we've got like basically a fish eye lens on this as well yeah. so yeah i don't think this is this is this is not going to suit my fitness plan Blaine. so i can just sort it in so you can like do like a <laughs> anyway <laughs> actually it'll do well for you because it'll make you look absolutely massive so yeah. massive. Just, just slim, slim it in slim it in <laughs> yeah get josh out of the children's clothes anyway but wait, I, that actually is. I, I would that's, say. That's just, figure that's me, you right? know what the thing is? People said, oh, just putting a limited budget into that. It's kind of mad that it is the same power to weight ratio yeah. afterwards. Like, it's never mad. The only thing is, though, there's one calculation that we didn't take into account. Driver? Yeah. No. We actually lied in this video. How do we lie? We lied. How do we lie? And I'm going to leave this video on this bombshell. No, you know. Because my car has got, what is it? How much? 285 horsepower per ton? What? Is it how much horsepower? 485 horsepower? 285? 485. 485. Yeah, we can see where this is going. And Josh's actually has no horsepower because the sump is in the passenger seat. So technically, right now as it stands, my car is far better and I have lost more weight. So like, if there's a winner here, it pretty much is me. You have no car, you've got fat. <laughs> Five months of your life, you made the car heavier. <laughs> I need to reassess my. No, it's, it's light to buy, what was it two kilos? Massive, yeah. Like what I've lost, yeah. <laughs> no, it's 11 kilos lighter. But I think that's an interesting one. So both cars, technically, at the end of both builds, are kind of the same power to weight ratio, which makes it interesting when we put similar tires on them, take them to the track, and actually go twinning. They actually should be pretty competitive against each other. Should be pretty even. Like but this, we, in future, different we will do some drag racing, because we can. And we'll do some drifting together, because we can. And in the meantime, we're trying to get an engine for Josh's car, so. Because um, yeah, we're trying. Because we're trying. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll try and move the car. So that's the next thing. We've got them weighed. Everyone's asking us that question. Sorry, this video is really meandery and made no sense. But we weighed them. You asked us to, we did. What was your guess below? What did you think they would be? Because I know mine was way off. And uh, I think from my perspective now, we can try and fine tune them on suspension and corner weighting and we'll show all you guys that when we get to that. We're going to do that in the next maybe month or so. We obviously have bigger problems with Josh Holdsworth's car because uh, there's no engine in it. And uh, yeah, get them ready to rock and roll. There you go. They weigh way more than we thought. I weigh less and Josh weighs more. End of the episode. See you guys.